Hi guys, Ooh. welcome back to The Siren Says. So this is going to kind of be a response to a video I am redoing. Um, what I'm doing right now is I'm watching the video over to see what I still agree with because the video was old. So in case you didn't know, this is in reference to my um, Mike and Brian video, my break video. Um, I made that video months ago on my old Sims channel. Um, but I decided to bring it over here because it didn't really get that many views and nobody saw it. So I re-edited it, you know, added some pictures and stuff that were more relevant and put it out there. Um, I agree with 99% of the things I said in that video. But the first part where I spoke about, you know, the controversy of them being white versus the Asian thing. I think that was poorly stated. So I might just remove that section and then drop the video or just maybe keep the video up. Um, but I got a few comments that were interesting. You know, somebody said I rambled on, which is like, it's a commentary channel. You're either going to get a very well manicured video or you're going to get somebody who rambles. You're on the internet. If you want a point by point bulletin, there are educational sides of YouTube. I never said that my channel was educational. As a matter of fact, in my first video, if you even decided to watch that, I made claims saying that, you know, there are some videos that I will do more research than others. And if I am just saying my opinion, I give a disclaimer. That video is months old, but I gave a disclaimer in that video saying, hey, this is just my opinion. Whether you agree or disagree, that's fine. Then y'all come and be like, oh, you're a dumb A. Um, you ramble on, you don't know anything. Even though in the video I claim that 90% of my opinions came from things that they've said, things that I researched and saw in interviews and articles. So I didn't just watch the show, see one comic con run that they did and make this opinion. Like I said, it's over years. And when you love a show as much as I love Avatar, you do a little bit of background research. Now, if it is that you would have wanted me to drop all the affiliated links or whatever, then just say that. Just say some of the stuff you're saying sounds unbelievable. I would like you to drop links. That's what you say. And then if I can't drop the links, then that's just bad on me. But to make it sound like I'm just this unsubstantiated idiot that doesn't know anything. Like, that's your opinion. If you enjoy every single thing that they come up with, if you enjoy every comic book that they have dropped, every show that they dropped, if you like Legend of Korra, that's your business. I am of the personal opinion that only some of their comic books are good and that the only good TV show that they had was Avatar. Is that an unpopular opinion? In this day and age, yes. A couple of years ago, that wasn't really the unpopular opinion. But as more people have grown to watch the show, they are enjoying the other sides of the media that Brian and Mike have dropped. And so now it is an unpopular opinion. That is fine. One thing I've always said is that I would just love to have discourse. If you disagree, say why. You don't have to go around insulting people. And if you're going to come and say that you are insulting people in your video, no, I just get passionate. Like I'm making a video, especially videos like this, which is on a show like Avatar. I'm literally reacting to what I see. So of course you're going to see me say, guys, be so effing for real. And you might see me like give a bit of passion It's because I'm on Twitter or I'm watching a reaction video or I'm watching someone's thoughts on something and they're saying the craziest things and so I decide to make a video and I actually tone it down but because all you're seeing is my perspective it looks like I'm ranting and raving and doing the most you know and I'm not saying I'm never supposed to get bad comments that's not what I'm saying but what I'm saying is there's a difference between people who just like the one person called me a dumbass. That's him, right? 
but the other person left like a paragraph where it's like they thought they were getting me together cleanly you know and I'm just like instead of trying to get me together drop your evidence if you think I wasn't coherent which to me just means that you're saying that nothing I said made sense then give me the counter evidence say I don't agree with what you said because da -da 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 -da, I don't think you did enough research because I saw these one or two articles and it debunks most of what you just said say that that's how you intellectually get me together saying that I'm rambling when I'm a commentary channel makes you look unintelligent bro I mean I'm so annoyed that I even have to make this video because I don't really want it to seem like I'm telling people that they can't have a negative opinion but it's like the way you come about it you know it's the way you come about it when I and I don't even comment much on people's channels but when I do comment, when I disagree, like let's say I've watched somebody react to an episode of Avatar and they say something that just sounded factually wrong to me or that I personally disagree with. If I'm going to write them a paragraph, I try to be respectful and I'm like, I don't, I disagree because of this. Like for example, one show I love so much is Fringe. Oh, maybe I'm rambling because I'm not sticking to one show. Oh. But they're watching fringe and they have this narrative based on something that was happening in the show that just was so weird to me so i commented i told them that i vehemently disagree with them and i gave them reasons why i brought up what they said versus the evidence placed in the show and what i thought the writers were trying to convey versus what this person thought was it perfect? Could that person have seen this a little rude? Sure, but I have comments on that before. People have been like, oh, I didn't see it that way. Not even saying that they agree with me. Just saying that they can see where I'm coming from, whether they agree or not. Those are the type of negative comments that I don't mind. Because at the very least, you're trying to really educate someone. Being nice, nasty, and trying to put me together isn't gonna do anything so I'm gonna post the video again I'm gonna repost the video again I'm just going to cut out that first part because to be honest listening to it again I'm not even sure why I said that sometimes when I make videos like those I'm like heated up because of the thing that I've seen and that's the best time for me to make a video because I have a lot to say and if I can remember all of my points I'll literally say everything I want to say and just get it out um so yeah so I want to make this short video. This is the shortest video I've ever made in my life. But I want to talk about it because y'all are not going to bully me into not speaking my mind. This is my channel where I can speak my mind. Right? I feel like there are some issues I expect people to, to be rude at me for. You know, like, let's say I was against the LGBT and I said something really reckless concerning that. That's where I expect people to cleanly try and take me together and be nice, nasty, and whatever. That's where I expect that. Because you don't want people to disrespect other people's way of life. But if it's just a fantasy TV show and I, I'm a nerd for that show and I have differing opinions and I say something, why are you trying to cleanly put me together about what I think about the creators? People have issues with creators all the time. Like, people have thoughts about writers and creators all the time. It's just because Avatar was so great that having any negative opinion of Brian and Mike is just like fallacy to y'all. Is that what it is? Because uh, let me tell you, Avatar is one of my favorite shows of all time. They, it is. It is. And I will always give them credit for that. And one thing I said in the video, I don't even know if you watched all of it. Maybe you just heard the first three sections and thought, nah, I'm done. Let me say something. But one thing I did give those guys, which is actually a big compliment in my book, is that they're great at having ideas. They may not be able to always get it across the way they want to. And I mean that, and I'm, I'm sticking by that. They have excellent ideas. I thought the idea behind Korra was excellent. Was it put together all the way through properly? Absolutely not. And if you want to argue about that, you can. But that's my opinion. When you come to a commentary channel, you have to be prepared for the fact that somebody's giving their opinion. If you want to comment, you can. But trying to act like you're trying to help somebody, but really you're just being rude, 
it doesn't help because with that comment right the one that's trying to be nice nasty i read it twice i thought to myself this weird reaction i'm feeling in my gut maybe i'm just being sensitive but then i read it again and i'm like no nothing in this comment is helping me she didn't she or he they didn't send me to an article or add in that long paragraph a section that should you know like add in a little quote about the show or give their own opinion about the show to counteract my opinion no it was just you rambled you were incoherent next time you should be less careless you didn't even say what i was careless about so for me i don't know if i'm gonna make a video like this again who knows no promises but i'm gonna need y'all to just just like you think i should do better you should do better too okay this is a commentary channel space i have been known to have pretty unpopular opinions and i didn't even know that some of these opinions were unpopular until i started watching other reactionary and commentary channels when i started watching other people react and commentate i was like "Ooh, i really be having like unpopular opinions don't i you know but it's okay it's okay if you have an unpopular opinion you can make your own channel you don't have to pretend to be nice but really just come for somebody that doesn't make any sense please don't do that like that's that's just annoying and it doesn't make me want to delete the video it makes me want to put it over you know so if you thought you're gonna send that and i was gonna delete the video or private it no all that made me want to do was listen to it again because i couldn't even listen to it with a purpose because you didn't put in any points and realize okay i did one thing wrong that you didn't even bring up i caught it myself i said one thing wrong let me remove that because i don't agree with it anymore and let me drop the video again and you know what else i'm gonna do i'm gonna make a part two to it where i bring my thoughts in a little more with some bullet points and drop another video on it because i i know i'm one of the few people that think this way and i say few because i have seen other people say this about mike and brian as well so I'm not the only watcher who has come to these conclusions. So please just relax. All right. It's a beautiful day. When people say that they don't like shows that I like, I don't really let it bother me. Because the show is still there. It's not going to disappear. Relax. And also, have a good day. Yeah. Anyways, bye-bye.